guys, it's Jazz and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what's up? Hello, I hope subscribe to Superman for more. In this video, I'm going to talk about my first paycheck, how I got it and how it all kind of works. I'll also go through my YouTube analytics and break down exactly how much I earn. And let's just get straight into the video. So to actually earn money on YouTube, you have to create an AdSense account. Now, AdSense is what you actually get paid by. So YouTube is a platform that gives you an opportunity to earn money, but it's actually AdSense that pays you by letting you run ads on your videos. So I would definitely recommend, as soon as you start a YouTube channel, create an AdSense account straight away. That way you get the ball rolling and you're not sort of delaying the process of giving you the potential to earn money straight away because I did it like halfway through having my YouTube channel and it just takes ages to get the ball rolling. So just, just do it straight. To actually get paid by YouTube, you need to be monetized. That means you need to have 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. Yeah, 4,000 watch hours. It took me about eight to nine months to actually do that. So yeah, it just feels like a really long process, but it's definitely worth going through. Even though it took that long, it's still worth getting that AdSense account up and running, ready for when you are monetized and you're just ready to go. Once you've hit those requirements, you are then ready for YouTube to review your channel. They're just checking to basically make sure that you're hitting their guidelines. If you are breaching those guidelines, they will let you know. And usually if you're breaching them, it's because you've got something inappropriate on your channel or you're swearing, things like that. It can take anywhere from a few days up to a month to actually get monetized for me. It only took a few days, so I think they just give them that extra time just in case, but it only takes a few days. Once you are monetized in YouTube studios, you'll now find that the monetization button is now accessible. You can now start putting ads into your videos and start earning money, which is obviously a huge bonus, not only to be able to create videos, but also to earn a little bit of money on the side of that, so. You know. So now that you're actually earning money from ads, this is where the AdSense count starts to come in. You have a YouTube studio that your estimated earnings are, and then on AdSense you have a separate one. So they do connect, but I'll explain. So now you can start to earn money. Each month that you earn money, it shows up. So for example, in March, I earn £62.83, but what happens is I won't get paid until the 21st of April. Your earnings add up over the month, but you won't get paid until the 21st of the next month. So YouTube pays on the 21st, but what happens is it doesn't actually appear in your AdSense account until a week before you actually get paid. So don't worry if you see that on your YouTube studio that you've got this much, but on your AdSense account you don't. It's okay, it just has a week before you actually get paid that it gives time to catch up and actually put it in there for you because I panicked for so long thinking they're not going to pay me but they are so don't worry. Oh I actually think that made more sense when I said that up loud. So another requirement before getting paid by AdSense is the fact that you have to hit the $100 or £60 threshold. If you don't hit this in one month then you won't get paid. Even if you've got £59.99 you are not going to get paid until the next month. What happens is they just carry it over to the next month until you have the right amount and they will pay you. I don't know why there's a threshold I'm, I'm not sure but the point is there is one if you haven't got to that threshold don't worry it just carries over to the next month and then just keeps rolling until you actually have enough and then they can pay you so once you do hit that hundred dollar threshold or the 60 pound threshold then that's when AdSense will ask you to confirm your address. Basically, they need to verify that you're, verify? <laughs> what? <laughs> you need to verify that you're actually a human being and you actually live at this address and you're not just some person that is, just making sure you're human, I guess. So basically what they're sending you is a pin to verify. I did it again, is that a real word? And what they're doing is they're just confirming that you are actually a person and that you've got this letter and you do live there. Almost forgot to say. So the letter does take between two to four weeks to come. It took me about two weeks to get mine. So after you've verified your address, they now want you to confirm that the bank details that you've put in are correct. You put in your bank details and what they're going to do is they're going to send you a small amount of money to confirm that is you. For example, they sent me 23p. It takes up to five working days to do. Don't do what I did and just assume that it was going to be like a round number. It's not. It was 23p and I think I waited two weeks. I was like, it's not happened. Like, why isn't it there? Then I went in and realized, oh, it is there. I just didn't check right. So... There you go. And then what you do is you just type into AdSense the exact amount that they sent you, and that just confirms to them that that is your account, that is your address. And then finally, you just need to confirm your tax details. So if you're in England, and that is just your national insurance number, easy as that. So this process can take quite a long time. It took me about eight to nine months to actually get the ball rolling. And then it took me, I think, another few weeks to really confirm all my AdSense stuff. It's just, it's so much easier. So I'm really out of breath because I am. Now I'm going to give you a breakdown on my YouTube channel, my analytics and how much I earn. You know, this is for everyone that's kind of like interested in seeing what they could potentially earn or if you just really know you want to see how much I actually earn. So 
Here we go. <laughs> so I've got my little laptop here and I'm gonna run it through as well. I'll have a little screen recording just for you guys. So if I go on to my channel, my most recent video is my Kelshi April outfit challenge and that is on this. As you can see, it tells you how many views you've got, average duration and watch time hours. As you can see, that is a really bad watch time so let's just not judge me for a minute, thanks. So you can either go onto your vid individual videos and see exactly how much you've earned or you can go onto your analytics and check your estimated revenue. So for the month of March, like I said, I'd earn £62.83, that's my estimated revenue, so I can check in about 10 days time if that's actually true and I can check on AdSense to make sure that's actually gone through and hopefully I should get paid this month as well, which is a uh, oh, bonus. You can see that's my estimated revenue, so if I click on that, it tells you throughout the month how much your CPN was worth. So at some point it was £1.60, other points it's £2.20, £2.99 and then we've got a high peak over here of £2.98. Your CPN is cost per thousand views, so basically how much you get every thousand views so mine on average if I have a little look over here but if you go over to revenue this is going to tell you what your average CPN is so throughout March my average CPN has been £5.26 so on average you can have between £2 and £50 your average CPN mine's not too high but it's not low either it is low, but it's fine. We're being confident and optimistic about it. Okay, it could be worse. So I'm down by 10%, which means the month before, in February, mine was slightly higher by £5.85. Yeah. Another great thing about YouTube Studio is the fact that you can see your top earning videos. You can go down a little bit and you can see the videos that have earned you the most money throughout the month. So throughout March, my highest performing video was Don't Buy Until You've Watched St. Maria's Self Tan, which is obviously really good. It did well at £20. 12 so that's really good and considering these are older videos it's not always your newest videos that will earn you the most sometimes it is the older ones that get more views and some have higher cpns than others so what's really weird about cpn is it's unique to each video there's not a specific variable for each one it depends on what the video is to depending what the advertisers are going to advertise on your video so for example my chin filler one I know that CPN is really good. So the estimated, so the CPN is £8.33, which is really high considering some of my other videos are as little as £2. So when you look at it in comparison to, let's get one up. When you look at it in comparison to my 10,000 calorie challenge, that is £3.42. That is considerably lower. That is at least £5 smaller. So when you look at the actual estimated revenue, that's £7.16 which isn't bad either, it just really depends on the video and the advertisers that you can put on it. Now to get to the actual stuff that you wanna see. Let's see how much I actually earn. So I actually got monetized in December on the 25th, so Christmas day, which was a really great Christmas gift. So that was a great way to end 2019. And I only had about six days to earn enough to get paid, which I did not do. I earned £3.46, which was not enough to get paid on the 21st of January. So that carried over to the next month so in January I did not earn enough again to get paid so even though I had 59,200 views I did not earn enough again to get paid so I actually earned £21.18 that month so even though I had that many views I did not earn that much money so the reason I didn't earn a lot of money as well is because I had limited ads on a lot of my videos but it's okay now <laughs> so another thing just to pre-warn you guys that if you swear in your videos you will get demonetized again or if you show anything inappropriate or deemed inappropriate by YouTube guidelines you will get limited ads or demonetized on the videos which obviously you don't want to be because then it prevents ads from being put on your videos so even though you've worked really hard on your video and you love it you didn't really get paid anything for it just because you did something inappropriate so moving into February I got 26,600 views that's less than half of the amount of views that I had in January but because all my videos were monetized and the content was correct the CPM was a lot higher so I actually earned £43.6p which is really good and I'd finally from the rollover of the previous months I'd finally earned enough to get my first paycheck. On the 21st of March 2020 my first YouTube paycheck was £67.69p so that is December, January and February's earnings all rolled into March 21st paycheck. So like we said before so for example February that month's earnings will get paid the next month on the 21st there you go. Just to compare views and CPN, so the next month in March, I got 64,000 views, which earned me 62 pounds and 83p. That 
that's quite similar to the amount of CPN I was earning the previous month. And as you saw the previous month before on the CPN value of that particular month, I'm about 50p down to what I was before. So to be honest with you, it's not that much difference, but I have obviously hit the threshold for this month and I should be getting paid on the 21st of April next month, which is obviously really good. And that means that I'm going to start to earn a little bit more of a regular income from YouTube, which is really exciting because it's gone from a hobby that I had in my studio flat just to keep me entertained. Basically, the reason I'd even started a YouTube channel was because me and Kai moved 100 miles away from our home. It's the first time we'd ever moved out and I was really bored and alone. I only had a 10 hour contract on the retail job I was working. We had a transfer, there wasn't really a lot available for me. Kai had moved down for a big fancy position and I was just like, well, I guess I'm coming too then. And obviously I didn't really have much to do. So I thought I'm gonna start a YouTube channel. And I did though, <laughs> that's what happened. And it's just grown from something that I really enjoyed of having fun with. And now I'm able to make money off of it. I'm really lucky that I have a regular job and now I'm starting to earn money from a hobby so that is just it's just unreal to me so thank you to everybody that's watching and obviously i really appreciate all your support i hope this video gives you a bit of insight onto what youtubers can earn and if you want to start youtube at least you have some more information about it and how to sort of get the ball rolling so there we go and that is it so if you did enjoy the video don't forget to like subscribe comment down below what your favorite part was and that's everything so love to see you bye